have to let the carbon dioxide come out. And then right. Right. Yeah. So what we're doing now is we're just filling this up. And how long has that it's one been nice in there? This has so been far. Into, in here for about two days. Or two like days. So far. There we go. So if we just let it settle for a sec, you can see all the air going to the top. Just shove in this. Now this is called a hydrometer. Checks the shovel levels of your beer. You see that's just gone straight down. It looks good. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. This is the kind of colour that we're looking for in our beer. And um, of course when you put the findings in there, it's going to be a lot clearer as well after that. You don't, you don't wait till the bulls turn. Even it is black. Mm -hmm. Wait till that head disappears. As I say, this is a, a mid-range hydrometer. You get all different types and different mm -hmm. ranges. Uh, and that one will be at about 37 if, or 35, depending on the... Uh, when the frost gone, we get the proper reading. Yeah. And is it is it based on how it's floating? Yes. Yeah. The density of the right liquid, of the liquid, liquid and that gives yeah. you the reading. Oh. And they're all scientific instruments. They're not boots hydrometers, is it? Yeah. yeah. They're all certified individually. Very expensive. Yeah. They're very expensive. I can imagine. Yeah. They're quite easy. They're very expensive. <laughs> Yeah. You have to get and them sent off testing. That's all. Yeah, exactly. What's the yeah, for them? Yeah. Yeah. We get them from Scotland. Yeah. Just quickly again then, this is a special beer isn't it? Because it's it's got lactose in it. Yeah exactly, yeah. so it's going to make it thicker. Actually if you have a look at it, it's already starting to get the characteristics of the beer that you want from it. So this head here, you see it's kind that of typical mechanism. Very, very thick and very creamy. When did you put yeah. the lactose in? We put the lactose in the question, we put the lactose in uh, at the end of the boil. What we do is first of all we take a reading of the sugar levels before that we put it in of course because right. uh, the lactose that we use is a non-fermentable sugar. So um, when we put in that sugar it's going to raise the gravity of it so then we're going to have to raise the final gravity depending on how much lactose that we put in right and okay and what the reading is mm. so it's, it's the first time you've done this um, or is it not it's well we've brewed it uh, a couple of weeks ago but this is the second time we've brewed this particular beer but as I say the, f the first one that we did was only a couple of weeks ago it's uh, just on sale it's just yeah. gone on sale first, this is the first one you've done with lactose though. yes yeah, yeah. yeah. first beer with lactose yeah <laughs> it's, it's not warm is it has it been warm in there well, it's, it's about, a, about 20 degrees. About 20 it's degrees. It's 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 okay. it's 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 been in there four days and it's using lactose. Yeah. Two days. Yeah, sorry, two days. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell it's a bit thicker as well because of the lactose. It, it is really thick. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. That, yeah. that's really nice. And yeah. chocolatey. Yeah, exactly. Well, this is one of the types of uh, malts that you use in milk stout, it's chocolate malt. But that's using a lot of the roasted barley. That's going to go down really well. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, Oh, no, one more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bethany! Mm. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Is it good?